What's happening, everybody? This is Hayden Adams, and I want to talk about Astro in this project. Now, what is Astro? Astro is a newer framework on the web to build websites with. I say newer because it's been around for a little while, but not as long as other frameworks have. The real power in Astro is it really creates rapidly loaded, fast websites. 55% speed, comparatively speaking to Gatsby. I love you, Gatsby. You were great. But I'm moving on to Astro. And of course, WordPress, yeah, let's just not look at WordPress. So today I want to focus all about Astro and the basics of how it works. We're going to build a little website and then we're going to launch it via Netlify. And with that, let's get started. To get started with Astro, I'm going to come to the top of the page and say, get started and copy this link, npm create Astro latest. I'm going to head over to my terminal and paste in npm create Astro latest. And Houston, welcome to Astro 5.10, time to build a brand new website. We're gonna say my awesome website with Astro. Drop that in and we're gonna use a basic helpful starter project and we'll talk about how it's built from the very ground up. So we'll say basic, I do wanna install dependencies, no Git repository for right now. And with that, liftoff has been confirmed, explore your project. So what I get with my awesome website with Astro is an Astro config file, which we're gonna ignore for right now, our node modules folder, our package lock, our package, a public folder, which we'll talk about, which has the favicon sitting right here with the Astro logo. And then we have a readme file. We're gonna focus on the source folder. So the source is where everything comes into play. Let me make this a little bigger for you on the screen here. The assets are primarily your images, any video, any audio, gonna be your assets folder. The components are different pieces you can add to different pages, which are in the pages folder. They're all gonna be capital letters. Now this is where you can add React code as well by adding a welcome.jsx folder or just using the .astro extension. Then we have our layouts folder, which is more of our template where we're gonna use. The layout holds all of the information from the HTML to the body, and then inside the body tags is where pages are gonna go. So the layout's gonna have a layout.astro, and the pages is gonna have index, and by default, the component starts with a welcome.astro. If we start from the very top, this is our biggest level, we're gonna look at our layout.astro file. And here's what it looks like by default. We have our doc type, our HTML, our head, our body and our slot. Now how the slot works is I'm gonna take a couple things out just so we go back to our basics. We can always add style tags throughout the pages, but just so we get this as clean as possible, I'm gonna get rid of that style tag and I'm gonna open up the index page just for a quick second to get rid of that welcome information. So what I wanna do is I just wanna say test for right now just to have one word in here. And so how I actually launched this project, no pun intended, is I have to say npm run dev. Oh, I should actually probably be in the folder, which was, I believe, my awesome website. So if I come back here and say cd my awesome website with Astro, that's for that one more time, npm run dev, perfect. What I should see is the word test. Now, just for the record, I did just take out the word welcome, which is our component, and we see our layout. I'm gonna explain it in one more second. I wanna, do is I wanna make this as clean as possible. So what I wanna do is open up my Chrome browser, and I'm gonna bring this over. There we go. And what I wanna do, we have so much on our screen, I'm just gonna move this over here for right now. And so we have the word test. Now, truly we have no CSS and we have our layout. So we do have Astro Basics. We can see here is the title and we have our favicon.svg showing up up here in the logo area. And what I wanna do also is that I wanna bring in some Get Bootstrap just so I have a little design framework to work with. You might also use Tailwind, pick your favorite and we're good to go. In this case, I'm gonna grab Get Bootstrap and in the docs, what I want to do is I want to copy this link just so I can bring in the bootstrap docs into my design. So after the generator, I'll drop it in there. Let's 
to make sure it's just a little extra formatted in alignment. And with Bootstrap, you have to bring in both the CSS and the script tag, which I'll do down below. So I'll add it inside as it shows. It should be inside of the body tag, so I'll drop it down below at the bottom. And the body tag goes right here. We will then move this and just do a little cleanup on aisle nine. Perfect, this just helps with my margins and design in here. I'm gonna use the basics of Bootstrap for this design just to carry it forward in a quicker way so we can see how it works going forward. Now, by default, you can use Astro in just this way. You can have it where it just spits out HTML and CSS, as in we have a CSS link and we have the HTML with our slot. Now, how this works with the layout is if I add any text right here, this appears on all pages that use this layout. So if I were to add something right here, this appears on all pages to use this layout, every single actual page that uses this layout, so if we go to index, we said import layout from layouts, and then we wrapped the word test around layout. So because we have the word slot, right here. The slot is where the information is going to appear. So the word test goes between the word layout, test and layout, and the layout uses the word slot. Now again, this is all HTML, so I can write whatever I want in that layout, but I wanna wrap pieces around this slot to where it says test. So if I wanna add a div, in here and say class, and we'll add a container. Now this is in a container. And I'm just writing HTML. There's nothing magical about this. This is right out of the box. And while we're using HTML with Bootstrap, I now want to add a custom CSS file to this because to me, it's looking good. It's got some text, but yeah, this can look a little bit better. So here's the cool magic of this. If I wanna add a CSS file, I first wanna then say new file, and I like to add some obnoxious color to this CSS file. So what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna save this file in my source folder and say CSS, oops, new folder CSS. I'm gonna say custom.css. There we go, now it turns appropriate colors. I'm gonna add a background color and let's add, ooh, aqua. The minute this works, it's gonna then turn aqua. So what I wanna do is I wanna import this file or import this CSS file. So in my layout, this is where all my template magic goes. I'm gonna add something brand new. At the very top, I'm gonna add three dashes, and that's going to be like my front matter in Markdown to work in Astro. Now what I want to do is I'm going to say import, and then we're going to then say CSS and custom CSS. And when I import this custom CSS file, almost like magic, it's kind of still kind of like magic, it utilizes my custom CSS file for my body. So while the top layer is set to be in that bootstrap CSS, I now can do whatever I need to do. So if I wanna change that paragraph tag, I can say paragraph, font size, just make it really obnoxious and make it giant type. So the paragraph now works inside of this as well. Let's take this all out. And now it looks nice and clean. So again, what I have here is my index page with my container and I have my, let's close that welcome piece. And I have a custom CSS file, which there's not much going on. And I have a layout file. So we're gonna really work within these three components. And let's bring in one more component so we can add this to our overall design. We have kind of our body content or our main content right here. And let's take out this as well. That drive me crazy. What I wanna do is I wanna bring in some kind of header in this design. So since I'm bringing in a header, that's not gonna be the slot in terms of the index, it's gonna be a component. So let's create a new file, and I'm gonna go up here and save this file in source 
and go to components. Now the components, I'm gonna call this one header dot astro. And this is kind of where the magic can happen. This is just HTML. So if I really just wanted to say H1, this is my header, I'm gonna save it. And of course, nothing's gonna come up here yet because I haven't added my header into my layout file. But I can easily import this header file. So what I'm gonna do is in my layout, I wanna import the header. So I'm gonna say import and give it a name. Header from, and in here I'm gonna say dot dot to go back a folder, components and header. Now in here, what I'm gonna do is inside the body since it's the header, I'm gonna say capital H-E header in here and close it. What that's gonna do is it's gonna pull the word header from up top and drop it down below. What we should get is this is my header. Let's do a little design work just so we can kind of give it more of a looking like a looking like a header for the most part. So in header, instead of the H1, I'm gonna say the word header. And in here, we're gonna say is that this is, this is the header. And so then we have, this is the header. I'm gonna design that in my CSS. So then in my CSS, I can say header. And we'll say background color. Let's actually give it a decent one. I just give it, I don't know if I want black. Let's give it a dark gray. There we go. Now I have this dark gray. Let's give it a, just a bit of design since I can't read the text. I'm gonna say color is white. And we'll say padding. 0px, and then let's give it 10 pixels just for the design of it. Whoops, backwards. I wanna say 10px and zero. There we go. Now I have some text going on here. This is the header, looks pretty good. Of course, I can make the font size be like, eh, two rem, is that too big? Eh, not bad. Let's go 1.5 rem just for the fun of it. Again, I'm just gonna make a quick header design, nothing crazy. And then when I say text align, we'll just say center. And the center of this type is right here. So again, we're designing the header, which sits inside these header tags. And then in the layout, I'm pulling the header from components.header.astro, and it's coming in right here. The slot, which is the index file, is still just this information right here. Now, let's say I wanna pull some information based upon some meta information. So this Astro Basics is a nice title, but I wanna say like welcome, or this is the home page to announce what page this is. So if we head back to the layout area, what I wanna do is I'm gonna say interface. And interface, we're gonna add a props. And the props what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna say title to give it a title of this page and we have to say the title is gonna be a string. And then what I wanna do is, we'll say const for constant, and say title will equal astro, oops, capital, dot props. You can pull props in, essentially pulling data from the index page over to this slot area. So what I wanna do is, I wanna be able to change this Astro Basics to include something else. Because right now, it just has the Astro Basics. So let's just call this one Acme Bread Company. So if we change that, the top will be Acme Bread Company. And now what I wanna do is, I'm gonna add a title. Open and close. What's gonna happen is it's gonna add that vertical line and there's gonna be no information going on with the word title. That's okay. Because we use this prop, we can then come over to index and now you notice it turn red and the layout's like, hey, you're, you're looking for information here. The property title is missing. So now what I wanna do is on this page, I'm gonna say layout and then title and I'll say welcome please order some bread. And now what happens is that welcome, please order some bread shows up in my browser, 
within saying Acme Bread Company as well. So since we're calling Acme Bread Company, let's come over to header and we'll say Acme Bread Co. Man, this looks amazing. I wanna buy some bread. So the header we have here is in the header tags. The layout has the header and the word title to pull inside the title tag. So we have header, we have the custom CSS, and we got the index. This is where I can write all my information. Now I don't recommend putting H1 tags inside of headers. H1s are chapter titles. So in this case, I will add an H1 and I'll say H1, the finest bread company in America because why not? Now, if we wanted to match that up top, we could always change this information with this. We have Acme Bread Company. And now if you scoot out a little bit further, perfect. Just because we wanna center things and we're using Bootstrap, we can also add a quick H1 class and say text center, which is built into Bootstrap because why not? And I think we need to capitalize the word finest in here as well. So we have the finest bread company in America, Acme Bread Co. And now we can start adding different pieces to our website down here. Now we have our header, and we have the finest bread company in America. What I wanna do is I wanna add a footer. So inside this layout, you can either one of two ways. If it's so small, you can always just say footer right here and say this is the footer. So we're building here, and if we add this, since we're centering everything, why not? I got bonus points from Google for if I center enough things, I don't know. So we have Acme Bread Company, we have the finest bread company in America with our actual slot in our text, and this is the footer. And the great part about this is you have got your three components to your website, header, slot, and footer. I don't like to put too much inside this area unless I know I'm gonna use it on every single layout. For example, title and our head and our footer, but I don't wanna to do too much of the design in case I want the footer to go all the way across the page. The container has a certain limitation of size, but the footer can go all the way across if I want the full color to go across the page. So now we actually have this thing built. We actually wanna launch this website. So in GitHub, I'm gonna create a new repository name called My Awesome Website with Astro is available because I have not named one yet like that. Keep it private for right now, create repository. And what I wanna do is in my command line, I'm gonna copy this amount of code and come back to my terminal, which is right here and stop it. Drop in my bit of code, I like to do git add. Let's add everything, git commit. We'll say initial push, kind of my word for the first push into GitHub, and git push origin main. This will upload all the content into GitHub. So if I come back over to Safari, what I should get is my awesome website with Astro, Astro starter kit, the basics. Welcome to Astro, that's totally fine for the pictures. It's just the initial design with the Astro files and that gives you all the basic commands. Now that we have our code inside of GitHub, let's open up Netlify and publish this website. So I selected a new project inside of Netlify and it found my awesome website with Astro. I'm gonna click on this build. I'm gonna see if it's got it available. So my awesome website with Astro, oh, it is available, awesome. So the build settings are already built in for Astro, which is so awesome. So the build command is npm run build. The publish directory is dist for dist directory or in that direction. And we have deploy my awesome website with Astro. If you've used Gatsby and you've built really big websites, Astro flies. So if we look at this, it's gonna take me 30, 40 seconds for this to launch. So I'm gonna come back when this is fully published and see if it actually publishes my website. Oh, I didn't have a chance to even hit stop yet. It just was that fast. Uh, publish time, 14 seconds, look at that. So if we come back to project overview, my awesome website with Astro, and like magic, we have our site published in raw HTML thanks to Astro.